Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to update the Droid Bionic to the latest over the air version. Uh, .902, that was the version that was released to the massive public today, and it is able to, you are able to root it, but you have to be rooted on a previous build and be on the forever root hack and then update to 902 uh, before you can have 902 rooted. Some of you guys are going to find a big huge problem with doing that if you've flashed any of the cheesecake updates. Uh, it's going to be difficult for you because there's not an easy way back uh, to 893 to get back on the upgrade path. Some of you guys are already back on the upgrade path because I showed you guys not too long ago how to get there on the P3 Droid one click path saver, but maybe some of you guys are on 901 or 902 and you're not rooted. You need to get back. Um, a Droid Forums member, Sergeant Majored, has put together some modified FXZ files to easily get you back to 893 no matter what version you're coming from. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. How to get to 893, how to root and apply the forever root, and then update to 902 to put you at 902 rooted so you can take advantage of some of the awesome ROMs like this new Eclipse ROM and this new ice cream sandwich for the Droid Bionic. So let's jump into it. Uh, you're going to want to go to the link in the description. It's going to bring you to all the files that you need here. Um, you'll need to get RSD Lite 5.6 if you don't already have it. You will need to download the FXZ file that's been modified here. This will put you back to uh, 893. And that's if you are on, uh, you know, 901 and you are unrooted, you want to go back, that is the file that you need. Uh, then you want to download this 902 update, put that on your SD card. Uh, that would be on your external SD card so that you can read it from stock recovery, and we will get to that. Uh, so the first thing you'll want to do here, oh, if you're one of the ones that flashed either the P3 Droid one-click pass saver that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago, or if you had flashed any of the cheesecake updates, you'll actually need uh, this FXZ file here. This is the one here. You'll need this FXZ file. Um, and I will include a link in the description on how to open up RSD Lite and flash that FXZ file. That's something that we've already been over. So I'll include that tutorial there so you can flash the FXZ file and get yourself to 893. Once you're on 893, you will need to I download this exploit root package. This is going to root either 893 or 886. Uh, so if you're on 893 or 886, or once you get there, uh, you can download this, and it will be a file called the root version 1.1. Let me get it to where you guys can see it a little better. It'll be the root version 1.1, and you will run this the root. So you'll plug in your phone and you'll see it'll say welcome to the root version 1.1 and this tool will root Droid Bionic from 5.5.886 uh, to 5.7.893 and of course credits given there so you have some options here root and forever root root only or forever root only and then exit this tool. Uh, what I did was I selected root and forever root only. It's going to take about five minutes to root your device and if it doesn't find a path immediately it will continue working until it does find a path and root. What you should end up with is a rooted device. So if you go in here to you should have now the SU super user, and I'll show you guys what I'm on right now before we go any further. I am on version 5.5.893. Let me get this to where you guys can see it. 5.5.893. And so we'll go back, and I'm rooted, and I'll show you guys with root checker that it's rooted. So we are rooted, and now we want to make sure that it did apply the forever root. So you need root explorer. Now I know this is a lot to go through, but you'll be happy that you did it. And you'll go to system, bin, and you're looking for this mount underscore ext3.sh. So you're going to hold that and open in text editor. Go all the way down, and it should have already included this chmod 475-system 
dash bin dot su ch mod four seven five system dash xpin dash su and then the last line ch mod four seven five five dash system dash app dash super user dot apk if that's not there you do need to add it uh, you can head to droidmodrx.com slash bionic and in the side menu click the link that says maintain root with forever root and that'll have the script there that you can add i mean the text that you can add to the bottom of that file so you'll go ahead and exit that so once you verify that you're on 5.8.893 and that you are rooted with the forever root you're going to go ahead and shut down your phone and you're going to boot into the bootloader mode or the fast boot mode I should say okay so to get to fast boot you'll hold down both volume keys and the power and you should come up with this screen here and go to recovery and hit the up button this is going to put you in stock recovery this is where you're going to flash your your 902 zip that you've already downloaded and put on your SD card so click both volume buttons here to bring up the menu and you're going to go to um, apply update from SD card select that and you're looking for this blur version dot zip so go ahead and select that with the power button and let it do its thing this is going to take several minutes but I'll just stay with it so you guys can see just how long it takes and if you want to you can fast forward through So once you guys are on .902, uh, you have some some ROM options available for you. Dhacker29 has been working on his ICS for Bionic. Uh, he's up to like version 2001, I guess, and it's still in alpha. But that's because he's a perfectionist. The only thing that's not working on that ROM is the camera, and hopefully he'll have that working soon. Hash code of is working on the camera for the D3. I know these two guys are uh, really working together to get this thing working properly so hopefully before long we will have a daily driver ice cream sandwich ROM for the droid bionic uh, and then also nitroglycerin is still working on his eclipse ROM for the droid bionic hopefully when uh, dhacker gets ice cream sandwich all ironed out on this droid bionic we'll start to see a whole lot of custom ROMs like okay so when we're all finished this is uh, the menu you should get it should say install from SD card complete and you're going to select the top uh, the top thing here reboot system now with the power button and if all went well we should now be on dot 902 and we should have maintained our root so we'll just wait for it to boot up real quick And obviously it's going to take a whole lot longer than normal. Uh, so what I may do is pause here. We'll just see how long this is going to take. And I may have to edit some of this out. So we have a boot animation here. So far so good. This is normally the part that takes the longest. It normally takes you know up to 10 minutes to get through the boot animation so allow it to boot up don't pull the battery here or anything like that because it has to do all of its updating the only time you should ever be alarmed is if it goes all the way to the beginning of the boot animation and boots through again that's a boot loop and if that were to happen, you could just go into stock recovery and wipe data and cache, and that should fix you all up. Give it another minute or two. 
One thing that I did want to mention is when you flash the FXZ file, it will wipe your SD card. So make sure you have a good backup of your SD card before you flash the FXZ. And here we go. It's going to boot up. Okay, so now that we're booted up, we're going to check our system version. Then we're going to check our root. Make sure that we're all getting rooted. I believe we should be. So we'll go first to settings. Check our version. See my super user application down there, so that's a good a good thing. About phone. As soon as it boots up, we should have our system version 5.9.902. So we are at 5.9.902. Now we just want to check our root, make sure that we're rooted. So we'll open up root checker. Check the root, make sure we're still rooted. And there you have it. We are on 5.9.902 and we are rooted. Uh, so congratulations for keeping your root. And now you do all sorts of cool things like uh, bootstrap recovery as well as some really cool custom ROMs and other good things all on the most current over-the-air system. Guys, check out droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks as well as the latest in news. Uh, hopefully one day soon we'll have an application available for you guys to check out the news. Uh, you can also check me out at on Twitter at droidmoderx. Uh, with an E9 of 3, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a big thumbs up if it's helped you in any way. Thanks, guys.